it's Melissa. Happy Friday. How are you today? Guess what? Big day on So Fancy. We released a new bundle. Um, it's an Easter theme bundle. I'm super excited about it. It's really, really cute. Lots of fun designs in there. And I wanted to show you um, how to use them. Hey, Will. I wanted to show you how to use them to make freezer paper stencils. Um, these are really fun, easy. You can cut them on your cutting machine. I cut mine on my silhouette, but you can do the same thing if you have um, a Cricut or any of the other cutting machines. What you want is freezer paper. It's not the easiest stuff to find. Usually in like the um, like where the wax paper is and stuff, you can get it at Walmart. Some grocery stores have it. But anyway, this is what you want. You want to cut it down um, and then cut it with the waxy side down, okay? And then I already cut this. I just left one little piece here. Um, to weed out for you so you can see and I just downloaded the bundle and pulled this design in and then you want to draw a box around your design to make it into a stencil okay and then you're just going to remove <clears throat> the piece there to all the pieces I gotta put this down you're gonna remove all those little pieces because you're gonna paint in that area okay All right, now, stencils, especially if they have letters like this, um, can be a little bit tricky because, whoops, we I got, got that, oh well, well, we'll be good. Okay, so you want to carefully remove this off your mat and you're going to place it right on your towel. I'm gonna pull you down so you can see. Oh my God, you guys, it's swing. <laughs> Turn it off, I don't like what you watch. All right, so here we go. Um, use a, a uh, scraper or a spatula to carefully pull this up off your mat. If you have a light stick mat, a light hold mat, works best, All right? And then you're gonna either use your iron or your heat press to press this stencil right onto the um, your shirt or whatever you're doing. We're doing a tea towel here. I should have done this beforehand, but I wanted you to see how you need to weed out pieces. All right. All right, now you're going to see that we lost some of the design, the, the counters. That's okay, because we're going to hand place them back in. So what I like to do is position this on my surface first and iron that into place. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab... Um, you know, like the middle of the R, the middle of the um, S, and whatever else we we lost, okay? So place that, let's turn on. Place that. And you're just going to press it for, I don't know, 15 seconds or so. While you're waiting, get these little pieces up. You're going to have to hand place them. Can you see my press over there? Okay. All right, so now you need to add in, um, what can you see? Okay, you need to add in the parts that you lost, the counters that aren't attached. So that's the S, we've got a piece of an R here. This piece is not folded down. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so you're gonna do that and repress that again and then we'll paint. I'm actually gonna grab. All right, so I have paint. I'm gonna back up. I'll remove you back over here. Okay, so I have paint and I just like to use little makeup sponges to paint. Um, and the nice thing, So we've got, oh, I missed my A. That's what I was missing. I'm going to have to press that again. Sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. But the waxy side of your um, paper, of your wax um, freezer paper, is what is keeping it on the towel temporarily. Okay, so you can paint, and then you can easily just pull that stencil back. All right, this should be good. Okay, we're finally ready. All right, so we have 
have our, ooh, we have our tea towel, or again, whatever it is that you're using, and you just want to take your um, sponge, whatever you want, put a little bit of paint on there, okay? You don't need too much. And then you want to dab up and down all the way across your stencil. Okay, so this design, again, like I said, was in, whoops, you don't want to get off the stencil like I just did. This design is in the um, Easter bundle, the new Easter bundle that we have. It's kind of like farmhouse-y, which I like. Okay, once it's all covered evenly and outside your stencil, which is just wonderful, but that's just how my day is going right now, to be honest with you. Okay, then you can remove this stencil carefully. It just peels up, and it doesn't leave any kind of sticky residue behind. All right, I'm going to show you how this goes. And it leaves like a really crisp um, paint line. Can you see what I'm doing? Just be careful that you don't get the... If I look up and there's zero people on here, I won't even I won't even be surprised. There you go. See how cute that is? Yes, you want to put wax side down um, when you are cutting your stencils. This blanks, this blank towel is from All About Blanks. Uh, they've got lots of tons of different colors, but the design itself, as I said, a little <clears throat> got a little extra paint around that that I can maybe try to fix that or just call it a Friday and that's how it is. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous Friday, and check out um, the Easter bundle, and I'll see you soon. Bye.